Hi, I'm Heidi. And I'm Todd. And this is, is Telluride, Telluride Trails. Trails. Today, we're gonna go up on the Via Ferrata. Telluride's Via Ferrata traverses approximately a mile and a half, and Via Ferrata is Italian for Iron Way. If you drive and start at the beginning of the route, the entire route will take about two and a half to three hours to traverse. At minimum, it's important that everybody wear a helmet. Uh, there's a significant rockfall hazard. Helmet will help mitigate that risk. It's important to have a harness and a load limiting lanyard, uh, something that will disperse the force of a fall onto the cables. Perhaps the most important piece of equipment to have in the Via Ferrata is the right choice of footwear. You want to have good traction because the edge of the cliff band could well be a foot or two off to your side. Well, we recommend traversing the route from east to west and when you do it in that manner you'll start out on a pretty good trail and You'll walk along for a while and then you'll reach the first cables on the route. And that's where it's really important to have the right gear. And as you keep traversing from east to west, you start to encounter iron rungs and it gets a little bit more intricate. What we're doing now is we're overriding the amygdala. It's that little most ancient part of our reptilian brain that's in charge of fight or flight. And it's freaking out. It's saying, what? So, one of the things the amygdala wants us to do is to like grab onto the earth and, and lean away from scary things. Um, when we lean away from the edge here, we're, we can cause our feet to slide out. So we're always best to stand upright. That's what a hand to the right can kind of keep you upright, keep your weight over your feet, improve your traction. About a half mile into the route, you encounter the main event, which is really cool. It's a little bit scary, but awesome. <laughs> and the main event is about 100 feet long. It's a traverse. As soon as you turn the corner and step out to the first rung, you have about 300 feet of air under your heels. It's super exciting. It's a wild, unnatural place for humans to be. And thanks to the Via Ferrata, we can get up there and have our minds blown. That's so cool. Yeah, it definitely takes your breath away. At the end of the route, we descend a three-quarter mile trail that comes down along the Marshall Creek drainage. Now, it's really important to stay on the trail because the land surrounding it is all privately owned. Todd, thank you so much for taking us on the Via Frada. It was an incredible experience, a really unique thing. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come join us. And thanks for all you and the Telluride Mountain Club does. Uh, for trail sustainability throughout the Telluride region. Absolutely. Well, I'm Heidi. And I'm Todd. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the trails. trails.